And finally, I'm going to reveal today the new vehicle that we purchased for the channel. Like what's a good car that's within my budget of, you know, I would say $47,000 and under. Without further ado, this is what I decided to get. everyone welcome back to the channel and finally I'm going to reveal today the new vehicle that we purchased for the channel so let me just put everything into perspective so you guys can understand right so as you know we recently just got this 2024 Mazda CX-90 this is the the preferred package and it comes with uh, this one I believe is yeah 280 horsepower like 330 foot-pounds of torque weighs around like 4,500 pounds, like close to, you know, 40, between 45 to 4,700 uh, pounds. So it's heavy, you know, it's a third row seater and whatnot. And as you see, we use the race box. Oh, shout out to race box. Also shout out to the MOC, shout out to Q to Chaotic, Blueprint 1 Elite, 100 Gain 8, and of course ourselves, race car friends. But um, yeah, so we used the race box and we tested it. And we were able to get like, I think uh, six, uh, six seconds, a 6.60 six, uh, 0 to 60 test. I think it was like 6.60, right? So, and that was right in line with what I was getting with my Subaru WRX that is significantly lighter. It was like 3,300 pounds, 271 horsepower, like, uh, I forgot the torque, but let's say the torque is like, 290 or something like that you know what i mean or 280 something you know so so it has you know it, it, ha it has good power to weight ratio but the problem with the subaru was that the gearing is just too short like it doesn't let allow you to rev it out so you can't hit uh 60 in second gear you you have to shift and as you know as, as soon as you shift you're losing time and then when every time you shift it would it would like i don't know it would do like a little rrr before you know it kicks down so you can tell it's more of a purpose-built rally car and, I'm, and i learned about myself that i'm not really into rally type vehicles you know i'm not into the gr corolla and as much and you know and i've had two stis and i love them They're, those cars are so special like i love them and the most amazing thing is i love the subaru community that is hands down the best car community i've ever been a part of but it's just certain things that just don't sit well with me with, with the Subaru. So I was, you know, after I realized I'm like, man, the wife's car is faster than my uh <laughs> than than my Subi, I was like, okay, well, I need to go start modding the, the Subi then. So I was like, you know, let me uh look into modding this thing and I saw like I was gonna get the Cobb Action Sport and I, I saw I can get up to just with like uh a, a tune intake exhaust uh j pipe you could be right at 400 horsepower easily to the wheels on that car and that that's amazing it picks up power amazing right but then subaru made the mistake of giving it a glass transmission because i started seeing everybody that was tuning it and getting up to like the 400 horsepower mark their transmissions were were tapping out they were all it's like it was made of glass they all just started breaking and then you know you're looking at like if you want to put in the transmission that can actually hold that power the sdi transmission you're looking at like five to seven thousand dollars you know so i'm like man i do not want to spend all that money then have the car be down and go through all of that it was just too much of a headache for me so i started researching i was like what's a good car that's within my budget of you know I would say $47,000 and under that I can get. And the Golf R was like the number one uh, on my list up until I went and I checked it out. Like when I test drove it, that had short gearing too. Uh, the the feel of it just wasn't as fun to drive as the Subi was. It didn't like stock for stock. It didn't come with the same amenities that I had in my um, and my 23 Subaru WRX Limited. It just, the, the sound system wasn't as good. It, it was so many things where like, you're paying more money and, you, and it's just not as good as the Subaru WR, WRX. But 
I did know that the drivetrain could handle power. The engine, it's like a, a, an amazing engine. It can handle power easily. With it, it, you know, with simple mods, you get great power. The transmission can handle it. The only thing I think in the Golf R is that um, you would need to upgrade your clutch, and that you know, but that's not a big deal. That's like an eight hundred dollar job or a thousand dollar job, and so like that's fine. I, I'll be willing to do that. But then the problem I was I was having with that was that all the dealerships were like charging like 10k markup so it went from like a forty six thousand dollar car to basically a, a, a fifty six thousand dollar car and i was like yeah i'm not gonna do that like i already have a type r and you know like it just didn't make any sense so i started looking and seeing what's like the next best alternative right uh i looked at the Hyundai elantra n and and that car just looks wise i knew i wouldn't be happy i thought about getting a mustang gt one of the new ones i thought about getting maybe an older 2021 model year and just building that and doing that but you know <laughs> cute and chaotic told me he's like man you don't even like mustangs but oh shout out to race car 21 I, I listen i'm okay with mustangs i just you know i like knowing that if i throw power at something that everything's going to hold up and the the transmission that I would, I would only get a manual. The transmission in the Mustang GTs, the manuals, just you know, unless you get like a, a upgraded version, uh, then you're not getting that Tremec, and that that would be my main thing would be the transmission. So that ruled out the Mustang for me. I thought about getting another Camaro, but I was like, man, I've had like five Camaros already. Uh, maybe try something different. You know, you guys have already seen that, and. It led me to this choice. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I went with and I'm going to explain why. So didn't get the Golf R. Uh, I actually thought about BMWs too, too expensive. And then, you know, resale value on those go down really quickly. And just, you know, I didn't want to didn't want to go that route. Um, thought about the Elantra N, thought about Mustang, thought about Camaro, even thought about dodge scat pack y bodies and my friend warned me he's like nah man those dealerships like they they'll give you a hard time whenever you need to get anything done plus is those things that they're hard to mod and get power out of and stuff so i considered all of those things and without further ado this is what i decided to get <laughs> yes man we decided to get a 2024 volkswagen gti this is my first time ever getting a gti and man i am thoroughly impressed so so now we basically have two of the best front wheel drive cars that you can get uh, oh, also shout out to Will Motivation. Like Will Motivation got a GLI in Columbia and he was telling me how amazing that car was. And he was like, he, he you know, he said from driving that it's one of his favorite cars. Like he kept raving about how good it was. And essentially it's the same drivetrain and everything that's in this. So, you know, but this is lighter. So this is roughly around uh, 3,100 pounds. So it's a lot less weight than the, um, than the Subaru WRX. It has a limited slip differential in the front, so it's able to put the power down really well, which I found out. And yeah, let's get it outside and I'll go over some of the features with you guys. So let's go over one of the main reasons why I chose this car, and it is this amazing manual gearbox. Like, it is fun. It's, it, I mean, well put together. I would say it is just as good as my Honda Civic Type R manual gearbox. And I, okay, so this car is supposed to have uh 241 horsepower like 200 and i think uh hold on, i'll tell you real quick so it has 271 horsepower but then it has uh 273 foot pounds of torque it weighs 300 137 3000 sorry 137 pounds and i was able to get this vehicle for Thirty-seven thousand dollars out the door. So out the door with my trade and everything. That's what I got this at. So it worked out for me price-wise. It's going to be able to do what I wanted to do because it has like it has a, a like okay. So if you can see here, it has a full digital display. So 
better than the WRX as far as that goes, digital display, and it revs all the way out to 7,000 to seven grand. So you can hit 60, I, I was able to get, I think like up to like 65 miles an hour in second gear. So I think this is gonna probably do better zero to 60 than even the Type R because the limited slip on this is really good. It's almost like no wheel hop, no spin. It's it's perfect for what I want to do. So let me get out of the car and, I, and I'll go over some more of the reasons why I chose this. All right, so here's a quick look around. And this is the reason why I chose the 2024 Volkswagen GTI is because I really, when I wanted, the, the only Volkswagen Golf R I wanted was the 2023, the anniversary year, because it came with these exact wheels. And I was able to get these exact wheels, these uh, 19 R rims. You can see the R right there you know and these are the 235s thir uh, the 235s are 19 uh tires so these grip really well i believe these are bridgestone potenzas yes so they grip very well it it looks good and here's another reason and one of the main reasons too why i got out of the subaru wrx limited and went this route is because as you can see there's no black cladding around the sides and it just looks better it's a better looking car and this is with it not being tinted we're going to get it tinted soon and you'll see but it has you know the swivel lights the same as the uh the wrx it has awesome fog lights at the bottom down there uh it's a 2.0 the same as the type r 2.0 liter uh six uh same as, not six uh four cylinder um as you could as you saw you know when you turn so like if i were to lock it right now let me see oh keys in the other pocket oh wow i guess the kid don't have the keys on me <laughs> let's see yeah i think i threw the keys now to see oh first of all look at these seats so these seats are iconic for the golf it's like that plaid uh interior. oh man it's starting to rain let's get back inside all right so where were we oh yes i was showing you guys the interior so like there's so many things to love about this tier interior plus this is the the hot hatch that started it all the golf gti that's the, the 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 granddaddy of all the hot hatches and you see you got the gti emblazoned here you got this iconic uh plaid pattern in the seats here you got a beautiful nice soft suede right there uh leather here leather here suede here you got the red lights around here and I'll show you something real quick that's actually pretty cool about this vehicle. <clears throat> Is that, <laughs> it says, welcome to Volkswagen GTI. Make sure the volume's all the way down and I'll go in here to the menu. So we can change up the ambient lighting in here. So right now it's in red, we can make it blue whoa hold on there kanye <laughs> so yeah so you'll see it's like blue in here it'll be blue underneath here and even in the back and even down here uh blue underneath there if i want i could change it to this eternity color which is like a aqua you know and then we could change it to like orange you see right there and same thing it'll show there so we could change all the lighting and stuff in here i'll put it back back to red i kind of like it in red matches with the whole theme of the gti but there's so many different things you could do inside this vehicle like i'll do a full review one day and kind of go into details and stuff but yeah man the fact that you can rev it out you know to get to 60 in second gear is amazing you know you can see what you're listening to right there same thing like the subaru wrx goes up to 180 miles an hour i think the top speed on this is 155 miles an hour so there's that but just a lot a lot of really great things you know so many great things about this vehicle and i will do an in-depth review you know uh going into why I got it and, you know, showing all the things that it's capable of. And I will do a zero to 60 test and all of that. Um, but I want to cut away. But first, of all, I really want to apologize to the Subaru community because I think this is like the third time that I've like bought, like I bought two SDIs. The first SDI, I traded out of that SDI and I got a 2019 Golf R. 
the second SDI I traded out of it and I got a Toyota Tacoma truck. And then the third uh, WRX, the third Subaru that I've owned, I traded out of it and got uh, this 2024 Volkswagen Golf GTI. But another reason for me getting this GTI, it's that it's the last year that you can get this vehicle with a manual gearbox. So I think it's gonna be highly collectible. The last year of the Volkswagen, uh, you know, GTI, and I think also the last year with the Golf R that you can get with a manual gearbox. But that's that's big in and of itself. And, you know, I would say just, just how special it is, how functional it is, how capable it is, is, is some of the reasons why I chose to go this route. And then I really want to do some comparisons between it and uh, 2023 Honda Civic Type R. But, uh, you know, really just want to apologize to the Subaru community. But fun fact, this is the third Volkswagen I've ever owned. I've had a Wolfsburg Jetta, I think it was like a 2005. I had one of those. I had the Golf R and now I have the GTI. And you guys may not realize it, but you know, I'm a little bit of a, I guess I'm a VW guy. I got VW here. If you look, I got this. I bought a vehicle from Hendrick VW, and uh, I think this is in North Carolina. You got Volkswagen of Orange Park. You got the vehicle from there, and then we got this one from Orlando uh, Volkswagen. So you know, I guess I am a little bit of a VW guy. See, we got the VW hat there, <laughs> so it works. So who would have thunk it? You know, uh, it turns out I'm a VW and a Honda guy because I absolutely love this Type R. This Type R is really special and I'm, I'm going to do a whole video showing you why it's so amazing and special really soon too. Like why I do not regret trading out of my 2021 Camaro SS1 Elite for this Honda Civic Type R. But let me cut away to when I actually took delivery of the Volkswagen GTI. Like when I got out of the Subaru WRX and literally went into this car. So you guys could kind of see them side by side and see you know the difference in what they look like and you, you can comment below and let me know if you feel we made the right choice but let's swap over to that real quick before i do let me show you guys what i was talking about when you open this car let's see see, see the, the lights on the doors there but then looks what happened bam you get the the golf logo right there yeah so i think that's actually pretty cool and then all the the <laughs> the door handles illuminate so that's pretty awesome but yeah, let's head over. All right, guys. So first off, I want to start off by apologizing to the Subaru community. I honestly believe that the Subaru community is pretty much like the best car community that there is. And I feel bad, you know, leaving you guys again for like the third time. But it's it's come down like basically this is the main reason why I made the jump from the Subaru WRX Limited, which I love so much. And, and in a lot of ways, in, in, in let's be real, in a lot of ways, it's a better vehicle than this Golf GTI. But I'm doing this mostly for my channel. Like if I if I did not have a channel, a YouTube channel that focuses on cars and modding and stuff like that, I would have kept the WRX. But the reason why I'm going with the GTI is because stock for stock, it is a faster car, you know, and because I have the Honda Civic Type R and that's a front wheel drive, this is a great car to compare it to, you know, front wheel drive versus front wheel drive. I'll be able to make a whole lot of content for you guys uh, with this. It's a new platform because I've, I've had a Golf R before, but I've never had a Golf GTI. So I'll be able to mod this and see, you know, what we can do. So I'm, I'm basically making this move mostly for content. And the main reason I would say I got I chose to get out of the Subi and go into the GTIs because I know with these Subis, the engine is amazing. It can take power all day. But then once you start uh, getting into like the 400 plus horsepower range, the transmission taps out really quick. And I've seen a bunch of other people, a bunch of creators that their, their transmissions tapped out as soon as they started modding it. And I'm like, man, I, I, don't, I don't want that hiccup. And I've seen these take the transmissions, everything, take power, take mods, take everything really well and they you know and they and they do really well so that's my main reason from going from the the subi over to the vw um hopefully the vw community will be as good and as nice as the super community was but yeah let's just do a quick walk around of the uh golf gti here and you guys let me know what you think it's very similar to it looks very similar to the old golf r that i had 
and one of the things that I'll be looking to do is tune it and add some uh, some some uh, aftermarket parts to it and stuff. So you guys will get to come along for that ride, and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, man, that that's it. Like you know, we went from the 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 Subaru WRX Limited over to the GTI and i think it's the right move for the channel i hope you guys like like it you know shout out to the whole moc by the way shout out to q to chaotic blueprint one elite hunchy gang nate they didn't even know this was happening so this is going to be a shock to everybody so yeah man i hope you guys <laughs> hope you guys like enjoy the content and enjoy what we're about to bring you because we're going to be doing a lot of serious racing now between this and the uh, and the type r so comment below let me know what you guys think and with that race car friends out so, let's, in, in, in that spirit, look at these wheels. Which wheel do you like better? I like the wheel here, and I also like the wheel on the Mazda. But same thing, this looks a little bit more rough and rugged and off-road-ish. This looks a little bit more luxurious.